Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another quickie tarot reading, Scorpios. Uh, happy, happy 2022, uh, Scorpio. Uh, let's just keep on keeping our energy positive and high vibrational. Uh, we are to think upon things that bring us a good report. Uh, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he, Scorpio. Uh, and FYI, Scorpio, now brown eyes loves pretty much everybody. I have not, I don't care about anyone's personal life preference that has nothing to do with me. I'm only concerned about who I'm jumping in and out of the bed with no disrespect. So please don't ever think that I am sexist. Don't ever think that I'm uh, discriminating towards same sex because I don't care. And I don't mean it in a disrespectful way. I mean it in a I don't care way. As long as you, you're beautiful in the heart and you show me respect, I don't care. You could be a dog and I not like you if you don't treat me with respect. So it doesn't matter your 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 uh sexual orientation, your life preference. That has nothing to do with me. I feel like everyone should live, love, and be happy in your truth, whatever that is. And no one has the right to judge anyone for anything because who is just that perfect that they can do that? So I've never sat in the judge seat, okay? Because I have to be judged, okay? So that's just a simple FYI for you, just in case you you thought maybe you heard something from your insecurity eye or your ear and you took it wrong, but that's not me. So don't try to put that on me. That's never been me, nor will it ever be me, okay? And I still love you. Now, Scorpio, this is a quick, now this really going to be quick because I just got a new deck in, Scorpio. It's, it's uh, by Queen Sugar. Shout out to Queen Sugar in this thing. We got Queen Sugar on the deck, Scorpio. This is the love and romance journey here. And so I just decided to just pull a spread, you know, to see could I vibe with, you know, connect with the energy to, to own it, to become one with this deck because you have to. You have to personalize it. You have to put your essence on it, your energy on it, so that it joins with your energy. And so um, I pulled six cards here to see what it tell a story because I went back and I clarified all of them with some regular tarot cards, Scorpio. <laughs> I said, Spirit, show me the energy of whoever is really thinking about Scorpio in this time. Now, remember, Scorpio, this is a general. So, look, it's a general. Don't force it in your life. It's Please don't do that. Only take the part that, that you know that is for you, okay? So, like I said, once again, shout out to uh, Queen Sugar. We got Queen Sugar in this thing. Now, I'm going to start down here on the end because it was so funny to me because I was already feeling this energy. I felt like someone was love stalking you, <laughs> Scorpio. And you probably, you don't even know. You're so oblivious. You have no idea this energy of someone really love stalking you. They want you bad. I'm talking about they want you bad. They want you bad like a fiend, Scorpio. I don't know what you've done to this person, what you did to this person, but but you're truly unforgettable for this person, Scorpio. Now, let's start up here at the top here. Uh, shout out to uh, all of my new sub subscribers. Thank you to all of my subscribers because we're well over 21,000, just in case you were wondering, Scorpio. Uh, we're almost at 22,000. I appreciate you guys support so much. Because once again, I can't do this thing alone because, look, it, I just appreciate your support in any way that you support my channel. Thank you guys who have super chatted me, uh, people who have secretly cashed at me out of nowhere. Uh, thank you. I appreciate your kind thoughts towards me. It means the world to me because you don't have to think about me. So I appreciate you. Don't ever think that I'm not, I'm not grateful because I am. That's why I'm telling you this now, okay? <laughs> Now, let's get back to your love stalker, Scorpio. Now, this first card here is guarded. Check her out. She ain't playing no games, is she? She mean what she say she look. Some of you Scorpios is riding around here with that stick. I feel like <laughs> for some Scorpios, you may have a restraining order on somebody. <laughs> you like Raymond? I said no means no. No, dang, Damon, no means no. But for some of you Scorpios, you may have a restraining order out on this person, Scorpio. But for the other Scorpios, you are guarded as hell from this person, Scorpio. And you have right to be because look at you. Aren't you a beautiful, amazing energy here? You're well protecting yourself. This is self-guard here. You, you, you're going to make sure nothing comes within the perimeter of Scorpio unless you say so, Scorpio. 
And so I'm, I start laughing. I said, yeah, that sound kind of like Scorpio. <laughs> So I'm like, so what is Scorpio God it up? Now what I already I already know, but I, I want to see spirit. What 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 what's going on with this guarded energy for Scorpio? So Scorpio, your first card come out, because I pulled three for each of these six cards. What card came out, Scorpio, was the Queen of Wands here. Now, for some of you Scorpios that are actually in the same sex relationship, you're guarded towards another same sex relationship. That's just as fine and beautiful as you are. You're guarded from this person and you and this person have a strong soulmate connection. <laughs> now for you other Scorpios, you're guarded because look, look, look what type of energy you're in. You're this queen of wands energy. You're guarded because you don't have to take no shit. You ain't got to repeat yourself. Uh, you ain't got to chase after am about it because you are a queen. Uh, you get the job done, Scorpio. You're the life of the party. You're very, very beautiful. You're very, very sensual. You're very, very sexual. You're highly intuitive. Uh, you own your shit, Scorpio, and you're making it look pretty and good, Scorpio. So when I clarify this queen of wands for guarded Scorpio, we get the hermit card here, which is Virgo's energy, Scorpio. Now, not only do you have guarded here, but you have this uh, Virgo uh, shut down, quiet, reserved, uh, introspection type of energy. But I feel like when it comes to this guarded, I feel like you're guarding someone because you done blocked them. <laughs> you ain't talking to them. You ain't talking to them, Scorpio. And it could very well be someone who you're not talking to that's trying to find answers to get to you. They trying to get to you because you ain't saying shit to them, Scorpio. They know you got them blocked. They know you in your power. They know you the shit. And by you sitting here in this queen of wands energy, it's driving them crazy. I'm telling you, Scorpio, see, look, look, look. Now, see, I'm going to have to break it down for you, Scorpio. Now, you're not showing up as the queen of cups. I always have to show you because the, the energy is different from when you're in the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords, and the queen of wands. This particular time, you're showing up as the queen of wands, and it's for a reason. I'm going to show you this funny, <laughs> the nerve of your person, Scorpio. So this person trying to figure you out because they already know you're going to put up a fight with them. You guarded as hell. You ain't going for that because you ain't got to. You ain't appealing with no emotions. You feel like, look, I'm the shit too in this queen of wands energy. W what's up? You say you want to talk, but well, why? You know, and you're going to be talking all that shit while you looking so fine and irresistible and your Scorpio effervescence is going to be skeeting all out there in the atmosphere, which is why they ask, is love stalking you today, Scorpio? So when I clarify the hermit card, Scorpio, we get <laughs> the two of cups. <laughs> so like I say, for some Scorpios who are in the same sex relationship, your partner is just as beautiful as you are. Um, your person is trying to figure you out how to get back to you because you blocked them and that person is your soulmate. For other Scorpio, this is you and this queen of wands energy. You feeling yourself, you the shit. You ain't dealing with no emotions. You just trying to, look, you built your confidence. You're taking action towards the necessary things in your life that's going to elevate your life. You're no longer having a pity party. You didn't, look, you didn't put yourself back out there, Scorpio, in an amazing, amazing way. But your soulmate here is trying to get to you, Scorpio. I tell you, soulmate trying to get to you. So, and then I said, okay, spirit, now why, well, why Scorpio is, uh, why Scorpio guarded from the soulmate? Well, wh why would Scorpio be guarded from the soulmate? So your card underneath the bottom, Scorpio, is reunion. Because <laughs> they want you back. That's why. You know they want the queen of wands back, Scorpio. Don't play with me now. You know they want the queen of wands back, Scorpio. So when I clarify this queen, I clarify this reunion card, Scorpio, which means that they want to reunite. Look, they say they tired of being apart from you. They say they feel so broken without you, Scorpio. They want to come back together. You see that? They want to come back together with you. They feel this empty space within their yearning, within the depths of their lemon soul, Scorpio. They need to get back with you, Scorpio. They say it ain't, it, it's been so lemony and sour since you've been away, Scorpio. They need some of that sweetness of the Scorpio, a.k.a. Queen of Wands, I don't give a damn, I'm sexy as hell, my damn self type of energy. So when we clarify the reunion card, Scorpio, the first card out is this Eight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this person is working very, very hard. 
but it's not doing them any good. This person is is doing a lot of work here lately. This person probably trying to get their money up or this person just, you know, need money. But the more they work, the more they think about you anyway, because their focus is on you. I feel like they may try to work to get you off of their mind, but to no avail. That that Scorpio effervescence is calling them. It's calling them, Scorpio. You 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 sending out shit to your person and you don't even realize that you're doing it. And all you're doing is just living your life. You know, you're doing you. You ain't bothering nobody. You you you're getting your groove on in this Queen of Wands. You don't give a damn in this Queen of Wands energy. You don't even apologize for elevating. So with this eight of pentacles, I feel like this person is working a lot, but their attention is on this reunion with Scorpio. Now we clarify the eight of wands. We have the ten of <laughs> ten of wands, the eight of pentacles to the ten of wands. This, like I said, this person is trying to get you off of their mind, but they cannot, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, anytime you have the two of cups showing up, you know that this is a strong spiritual connection with this person. It's like your soulmate here. So this person is zeroed in or zoomed in on your energy. Like I said, you could have been just twirling around one day with a skirt on or twirling around one day uh, with the, the, the sweet, sweetest smell of your cologne and something has shot out to Scorpio. <laughs> you may have skipped a little too cute to the mailbox or some shit, but it shot out in the atmosphere and they caught it. They caught your whiff, Scorpio. I'm telling you, it's a burden to them. This person is overloaded in a whole lot of ways, Scorpio. They need to release. I, I say they need to release, Scorpio, because they are heartbroken, Scorpio. You see how I dropped it? <laughs> I feel this person. They sad. They heartbroken, Scorpio, because they want they boo. It's a burden that they not around you, Scorpio, because they try to lose themselves in their job, but they keep thinking about getting back together with Scorpio here. <laughs> now, up here to the top, Scorpio, here you go again. Annoyance. <laughs> You're like, anybody got time for this bullshit with this person? Nobody want to hear this shit. This person annoys you. I feel like if this person was to communicate with you, all they're going to be doing is be, they're going to be real, real emotional and real, real whiny. And this is, this person is going to annoy you. I feel like the way this person wants to come on to you is going to annoy you. You could be getting fake. You could be getting anonymous phone calls. You could be getting hangups. You could be getting all type of weird shit going on. And I feel like intuitively, you know who it is and it's annoying you. You, you got someone, I feel like you know that someone is, is around you, Scorpio, and it's annoying you. So we clarify this annoyance energy, Scorpio. We get the moon card. Now, I see this annoyance a couple of different ways, Scorpio. I see this a couple of different ways, Scorpio, because you're annoyed, but you got the moon card here. So for some Scorpios now, I don't need you stoning me in the comment section. You are, you are a highly intelligent, Scorpio. You're very, very psychic. I say you are truly, truly, truly on your game. No one can force bullshit on Scorpio, okay? For some Scorpios, I feel like secretly you kind of feel for this person. <laughs> there I said it, okay? <laughs> for some Scorpios, I feel like you kind of sweet on this person, but they annoy you because you don't want to give in to them. You, you, you're not in a position to give in, Scorpio, because you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You've already blocked them. But I feel like the way this person is going to come on to you, Scorpio, for some Scorpios, you still feeling this person because the next card, when I clarify the moon card, which is Pisces, we get <laughs> the sun card. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> That's why I say some of you Scorpios, Scorpios, <laughs> Some of you Scorpios are secretly uh, wanting this with this person here. Some of you sort of <laughs> look. Some of you Scorpios are secretly wanting this beautiful, abundant life with this person, Scorpio. Some of you Scorpios, this is a Leo, okay, or a Pisces here. <laughs> Uh, but if it's not that, then Scorpio, if you're not secretly, uh, you know how, you know how on the external you front, like, look, this dude just annoy me. Let's just say if you're in a room full of your girls and shit and you feeling yourself, you looking good, you out, you having a good time, 
But deep, 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 You still feel something with this person too, Scorpio, because like I say, this is your two of cups. That's that's a very strong connection. Now, when I clarify the sun card, Scorpio, we get the freaking king of wands. Remember, you already sitting over here as the queen of wands, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, this person. Now, for some of you, Scorpio, this person is in their feelings over you with this moon card because... When they look at you, they you make them happy. They know that you're there. Because look, this is the connection between the two of you, this two of cups here. <laughs> you're like a, a soulmate, twin flame type of energy here. There is a lot of powerful sexual energy between you and this person, Scorpio. If you're not with this person, when you was with this person, you guys had a lot of intimacy, a lot of sex. Y'all got it in. I'm telling you. You never broke up. You never disconnected with this person because it was because of the sex. That never, ever, ever was the problem. That wasn't it. It's because of the usual shit. You know, they think the grass is green on the other side. You know, usually that type of shit. But you went on, Scorpio. You're not showing up as the queen of cups. You're matching this person's energy in this two of cups energy because this is your soulmate. <laughs> For some of you Scorpios, it is a Virgo or a Leo or a um, Pisces here. So I feel like this person's in their feelings over you, Scorpio. Because like I say, they're, 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 they're in this ten of one. You know they're in their feelings because they feel heartbroken. This person feels heartbroken, Scorpio. They feel so heartbroken over you. Now look here, Scorpio. I don't need y'all in the comment section telling me that the person thumped on your toe, they ran over your foot. They did some horrendous shit. If your person did some horrendous shit, then you know this is not for you, okay? I'm talking about some workable, doable shit, okay? Like the person needed to grow up and not in a violent way, okay? Now, you use very intuitive. Now, come on now. You don't have to go there with me. But this person's really in their feelings over you, Scorpio, because they want you back. They want you back bad, Scorpio. So now under this annoyance, I'm like, now look at all this shit. I said, okay, so you got the king of wands and the queen of wands here. You should, Scorpio annoyed by this soulmate person. She done blocked them. This person fiending over Scorpio. So this person is broken emotionally because they had their feelings over Scorpio. And I'm like, why, spirit? Why? <laughs> and so <laughs> under annoyance, Scorpio, you got climax. <laughs> Then I tell you, this person was overloaded and had burdens in more than one way. This person has not been intimate with a lot of people, if anyone, Scorpio. I feel like this person has been reserving themselves because they too busy on your ass. This is what's got them going crazy, Scorpio. <laughs> You showing up, you already water now. Look, look at that. That's what you got them hooked. I'm telling you, you done drove somebody child crazy, Scorpio. You don't even give a damn. <laughs> this what got them. I'm telling you, this is what got they asses. Cause <laughs> when we clarify the climax, Scorpio, we get the seven of cups. This person is is in la la land. <laughs> they head is in the clouds over this climate. They want you b -b 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 bad, Scorpio. They want you all kind of bad. But this person not don't just want to be intimate with you. But I feel like its intimacy with this person is natural. With the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, this is in the to a cup. This is a natural, fiery, spicy sexual connection. You always gonna have this chemistry between the two of you it ain't gonna never leave this is an eternal connection eternal physical attraction with this person because you guys have this soul contract in this two of cups energy scorpio but in this climax energy scorpio this that's what they thinking about this person is in la la land they're in fantasy this person is in fantasy world because they fantasize about this and when i clarify the seven of cups scorpio we get the Page of Swords. 
But some of you Scorpio, this person and bust back out with your photos. And you know they popping off one. This person, <laughs> oh my God. Scorpio, this person is ejaculating to your photos now. This all this person do is watch you though, Scorpio. Didn't I tell you? This person, like I said, you may be getting some weird phone calls. Some um, weird messages through social media. If you have any accounts whatsoever, uh, you may hear a sound of a car that sounds like theirs, or you may catch a glimpse of them. Because I remember years ago, a guy I was dating, I used to catch his ass like clockwork. And it was so weird to me how I just, I, I, something to tell me to look out the window and I see him passing by. I'm like, why he checking up on me? You know, it'd be, it'd be crazy. It was so weird though, man. Every time, and, and this person swore they never did that shit because they, because they was in that king of ones energy. You feel me? They was you. You a player don't like for you to, to know that, that 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 they falling for you, Scorpio. I feel like this person has met their match in you. You're you're more than this person's match now because you're not the queen of cups. You're the queen of ones matching their king of ones energy. I feel like in the past this person could have been in the king of ones while you were in the queen of cups. You were all emotional. You probably been in your feelings, way too much in your feelings, Scorpio. But now, Scorpio, you done the elevator. You ain't tripping about that. You you're matching this person. You done got your you done got your your mojo back, Scorpio. Now this person is in their feelings, Scorpio, with this three of swords as well as the moon card. As well as the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, because all they do is watch you. If you don't want nobody anymore, you shouldn't watch them. But this person is obsessed with you, Scorpio. And I'm like, oh, so they watching Scorpio. I'm just like, so I know this person is, you know, you know, they they popping off. You know, you you now you know they popping off, Scorpio. They they come on, Scorpio, come on. After all, with this climax in the page of swords, they popping off with them old photos of you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. So when I clarify this page of swords, Scorpio, I get, you get, Scorpio, this ace of cups. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This person wants a new beginning. Like I said, this person's in their feelings because this person loves you, Scorpio, but they're they're heartbroken now because you're not the same. And yet they're love stalking you. They're obsessed with everything about you now, Scorpio. Some of you, Scorpio, you may be tempted to hook up with this person, Scorpio. But let me just give you a word, um, just give you a warning. Now, you know this Ace of Cups also represents a new beginning like a baby. Some of you Scorpios going to mess back with this person. You probably going to get pregnant. So, that look, I'm just saying. Now, your last two cards, the first card up here at the top, it is New Pathway here, Scorpio. So, either this is saying that you personally are going to go on a new pathway in your life. This is the direction that you are going this is exactly what it's saying because this is your reading, Scorpio. But it seems like this person wants to be a part of your new pathway, Scorpio. Or spirit is making it so. It's weird, Scorpio. But this your energy. This this new pathway is for you. But I guess this new pathway is for you and whomever you choose to, to share it with. So when I clarify the new pathway, Scorpio, we get, look, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new opportunity in something abundant and amazing for you. Now, this is either with a person or this is just for you, for your life. But I know it's with somebody, Scorpio. Follow me. So when I clarify this Ace of Pentacles, you, look, this is amazing. Look, this is just amazing. When I clarify this Ace of Pentacles, which is this big, abundant, new beginning, new career, new business, new opportunity, new something that's going to be very, very uh, lucrative financially, Look, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Look, you get the Queen of Cups. Now, there you go. So, I know this is for you. See, this is for who you choose, Scorpio. When when it comes to, to this person in the past, you, uh, you match their energy because you're confident now. You're not showing them the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, because you've evolved. You, you've built your confidence. You've had to heal and, and change some things. But the spirit is sending you, is opening up the door for you. Look, not only do you have new path, but you got a new, look, <laughs> wow, I just noticed this. Not only do you have this new pathway, but you got this ace of pentacles. You got new, 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 new. <laughs> Let the church say new, 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 new. <laughs> and it's given specifically, because I'm trying to figure out what is this about, spirit? Spirit said it's for Scorpio. In this Queen of Cups, you remember this has been you all the whole time. They didn't want that with you, but they want you in this Queen of Wands energy, Scorpio. But specifically for you, 
But for, for all of your emotional loving energy that you have given to this person and to whomever you ever encounter, Scorpio, make no, don't go to sleep on yourself. Uh, people are always impacted by the love of a Scorpio. They'll never, ever, ever be the same. If anything, they'll be just a little bit better. Uh, that is, if they didn't provoke that stinger out there, all best is off and it's on them. They got to pay their own doctor's bills, okay? <laughs> but this is for you, my love, this queen of cups. And Spirit is putting you in such a mighty, mighty way, Scorpio. Spirit is putting you ahead and in control of your life, your destiny, and everything. Because when I clarify the Queen of Cups, you get the lovers. You got a lover coming. You got the choices of lovers. <laughs> So I feel like what what this what this lover's card, which is Gemini's energy, what this is saying, Scorpio, Spirit is already opening up the door for you for this new pathway. And then you have this Ace of Pentacles specifically for you and this Queen of Cups. Spirit is telling you, you can decide who you want to share your life with, whether it's in a new direction or whether it's in a reunion with someone from your past to reconnect with someone, Scorpio. But you got the Gemini. You got, look, this is another uh, soulmate connection here, Scorpio. Now, your last card, Scorpio. This is why I know this, this past person, the person who wants you back, who is uh, love stalking you, they're waiting you out. They're, they're watching their clock. This person can't wait to be with you. Divine time in Scorpio. So I feel like this person has been praying and meditating or, or, or this may be telling you, Scorpio, in a matter of time, and, and it's, it's a specific day set up that this person is going to do a certain thing because they're they going to take action towards you, Scorpio. I can't answer that right now, Scorpio, because when I clarify this divine timing here, this is divine timing. It means that this person can't, especially with you over here in this guarded... In, wait a minute, Scorpio. I'm sorry. My apologies. I should have put it on airplane mode, but I forgot See, especially with you with this annoyance and this guarded energy, this person know that they can't go beyond that because you're not showing up to them in the Queen of Cups. You're showing up to them in their same energy, toe to toe. Yeah, you the king, god dang it. Well, god dang me, me. I am the mother freaking fracking, the queen then. So what? So what? Y'all equally yoked in this two of cups. He ain't bigger than you and you ain't lesser than them. I'm just saying y'all on the same page. Y'all match it. I'm saying y'all match. Y'all are matched here. So this divine time, this person wants to come in, but they know that they can't because your guard is Scorpio, but they love stalking you nevertheless. But in some time, whenever it is, it could be. What time is it? It could be. It could be at 10 o'clock <laughs> sometime. <laughs> But you're going to get a message from this person in this page of one, Scorpio. You're going to get this person is really in their emotional feelings towards you, Scorpio. So when I clarify this page of one, they want to communicate with you. And I clarify the page of ones, you get the ten of swords. This person wants to uh, talk to you about either doing this to you or or, or this, this, this this disappointment or this major uh, uh, heartache uh, that... The way I feel like this person want to let you know why things ended so badly between the two of you, Scorpio. Because when I clarify the Ten of Swords, we get the Knight of Swords. See, that's why we clarify divine time. This person want to rush in, but they can't. They can't, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they can't because you're not the same. This is why Spirit is saying divine time and son, slow down now. You can't just rush in now. You got to do it a little differently. And when I clarify the Knight of Swords, Scorpio, we get the five of cups and this person is regretting it because it was left up to your person Scorpio they would have been put they move on you but you're in a different energy now you're in this queen of wands energy Scorpio with the new path and all this abundance in your energy and this person know that they can't choose you anymore Scorpio you get to choose because they're coming back to Scorpio now underneath this clarifying deck Scorpio you got the nine of cups this is what they miss they miss they feel like you're their total wish fulfilled Scorpio this is why this person is feeling sad because they did not take this leap of faith and have this new beginning with you in this full energy. And they did not heal the situation between the two of you, Scorpio. They felt like falling in love with someone who was in love with love. was, was They was trying to dodge a towel moment. Uh, and this person can't come to you right now this night because spirit is blocking them. 
And I feel like this person is regretting turning their back on you, Scorpio. Or this person is feeling like they can't come to you because you've turned your back on them and you're looking ahead because your ships are coming and you the one got a new pathway with the Ace of Pentacles uh, 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 to the Queen of Cups and the Lover's Energy, Scorpio. Uh, nine, nine of Swords, this person is restless. Look, this person is full of anxiety. Like I say, this person, all they do is sit up at night and think about you and love stalk you. All they do is sit up all night long and love stalk you and think about humping you because they are obsessively, uh, romantically, or uh, hopelessly in love with you still, Scorpio. And this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Now, if this video resonates, Scorpio, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment, Scorpio. And I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.